Have you ever dreamt of creating stunning visuals without being a professional artist? This video will help you with everything that you need to master Midjourney, from generating basic photos to utilizing its advanced features. Midjourney is a generative AI tool that turns your text description into stunning images. Now, let's see how IT industry can use Midjourney. Users can generate mockups with simple text prompts and visualize idea before the development. Marketers can create eye-catching visuals for the campaign, test multiple concepts, and quickly personalize content for their targeted audience. Midjourney even help create illustrations, build fictional worlds, visualize data for content creator, and help them go beyond. Midjourney is a game changer, streamlining design, marketing, and content creation within the IT industry. Let's see what we learn today. We'll see how to get on board with Midjourney. Then navigate through Discord to join Midjourney. We learn how to create a perfect prompt. Then fine tuning the images that we have created. We'll dive into advanced feature of Midjourney. Learn how to create stock images. Use different parameters and know their effects. We'll also use reference images to generate similar images. On that note, hello all and welcome to this video on Midjourney tutorial. If you are interested to learn about how to use Midjourney, you have landed on correct video. So please do like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also visit Edurekha's website for Midjourney course for beginner. The link to which is given in the description box. Before we go and explore it, let's see some of its products. A realistic portrait of a woman holding a white cat. An anime-like character with powerful effect. Drawing of an ideal scenery and cinematic view of soldier in middle of war. Let's see why use Midjourney. I would just say three points. It's easy to use, boost creativity, explore different style and find the one you like. So to get started, let's see how to sign up for Midjourney. Go into your favorite search browser, then go to search bar and type Midjourney. Let's go ahead and click enter. So we'll see the Midjourney's official website. Go ahead and click on that. There you'll see a landing page that will look something like this. To join Midjourney, we'll go ahead and click on join the beta. After clicking this, this will take us to their Discord invite. For this, you have to have one Discord account. Since we have already created one, we'll go ahead and just sign into it. As soon as you join, you will see something like this. Midjourney's icon you will find on the left hand side of your screen that will look something like a ceiling board. Now to go ahead, we'll just scroll down and join any of the newbie channels. There, you can see so many creation of so many people. This is an open channel. Anyone can come and write a prompt. They'll get their image generated right over here. But in this, you lose your image as soon as you create it because there's so much content over here. So, to go ahead and add Midjourney bot to your server or directly message it, we have to go on left hand side and click on symbol that will look something like this. Here, you can see Midjourney bot. Right click on it. There, you can see the profile. Click on profile. It will open a menu like this. If you click on send message, it will directly take you to the Midjourney bot. There, you can message directly and get your results. So, let's go ahead and see our information. To do that, we have to type slash info, then just hit enter. Here, we can see user ID, a subscription, and even the fast time remaining. Here, we can see how many images we have created and fast images that has been generated by Midjourney. To go ahead and join Midjourney bot to a personal server, we have to create a server first. Let's go ahead and create a server. On the left hand side of your screen, you can see something like this. Click on it, then you can select create my own. You can choose for me and my friends and go ahead and name it. For now, we'll name it Edureka Server 3. We'll go ahead and create. Here, we have landed on our page. Now, to add bot to a server, we'll just go ahead and click over here. We can see my journey bot. When you click on it, you can see an option of add app. Click on it and then you can choose a server you want to add it to. We'll go ahead and choose Edureka Server 3. Then click continue. After that, you would have to select the permission you want to give me a journey bot, then go ahead and authorize it. Here we got success. After adding me a journey bot to your server, you can see a message like this. Let's go ahead and click on Edureka Server 3. So we'll go to Edureka Server. We can see the mid journey bot has landed. Let's go ahead and create a first image. To do that, we would have to type in slash imagine. Then hit enter. Here you can see a prompt like option. Now, following prompt, you have to give the description of the image you want. 
For now, we'll go ahead and type this. A bustling city street in modern era. Let's go and see what does mid journey generates. So the image has been generated. Let's go ahead and click on it to get a better view. The images will be generated in the grid of 4 in order 1, 2, 3, and 4. Below the generated image, you can see multiple options like this with U and V, where the number would correspond to the image. Here we can see a reroll button that will look something like this. The U stands for upscaling and the V stands for vary. If you like an image, for instance, I like the image too. We'll go ahead and click U2. As we can see, the image has been generated. This is the exact image that I have selected, the second number. If you like it, you can just go ahead and download it. To do that, click on Open Browser. You can zoom in, zoom out to get a better view and right click on it to save it. We'll go ahead and save it as image. Just click on Save and it will be downloaded to your disk. Let's go back to our Discord. Here, below the image, we can see multiple options again. But this time, the options are different. Here, we can see Upscale Settle and Upscale Creative. Both are used to upscale the current image, but in a different manner. It will slightly upscale your image, whereas Creative will change something in the image. Vary. Vary has multiple options. Subtle and Strong. Strong will generate a totally different image but with similar reference. Whereas very region, if in the image you want to change something, you can select it by the region and then change it. We will dive into that later. So let's go ahead and see zoom out. There's option of zoom out 2, zoom out 1.5 and custom zoom out. If you want to zoom out, you can click on any of these and if you want to customize your zoom, you can click on this. We'll dive into that later. Moving ahead, we can see multiple arrows pointing in different directions. What does this mean? Let me tell you. If you click on the arrow, it will pan out the image in the direction which the arrow is pointing. If the arrow is pointing left, the image will pan out on the left side. If the arrow is pointing at right, the image will pan out on the right side. Similarly, on the top and the bottom. Now, let's go ahead and test out our zoom. We'll click on zoom out 2.0 and see what it generates. The image has been generated. We'll go ahead and click into it. To get a better view, we'll upscale all of these. This is our original image. Let's go ahead and see our zoomed out images. In our fourth image, these parts have been added, which were originally not here. In our third image, we can see a different scenario over here. There's a zebra crossing, whereas in fourth image, it is not. In every scenario, we can see a different vehicle or a different building. Nothing has changed from the original image, but to zoom out, it had to create new objects that we can see. Now, let's go ahead and see pan out. To go to our original image, we can click on this and it will take us to our original image. Now, let's go ahead and see pan out. Now, I want to see what's up there in that image. To do that, we'd have to click on pan out with top arrow. We'd go ahead and do that. It will give us a prompt window. Now, you can choose what you want. As we are talking about sky, we can have moon or sun over there or a plane flying. Let's go ahead and do a sun in cloudy weather. And click on submit. As we can see in our newly generated images, there is sun, there are clouds and even both of them. Now. To create perfect prompt, you need to use proper keywords and even give description as much as you can. For that, we'll go ahead and generate this image in painting format. To do that, we'll type slash imagine and then prompt. Our prompt will be same as previous one and we have just added oil painting. Now let's go ahead and hit enter. Here, the mid journey has used vibrant color in oil painting. All the images look stunning. Now we'll see some of its advanced feature. One of those was released recently by Midjourney that was Describe. Describe feature of Midjourney allows you to use an image to get its prompt. You can use the prompt to generate new images similar to that one. For that, 
we'll go ahead and type slash describe now there are two options image and link you can go ahead and click on image to upload image from your system if you go ahead and click on link you can provide link from anywhere that can be used by my journey to generate description for that image for now we'll go ahead and click on image you can either drag or drop your picture or you can go ahead and select it now i have selected the image just go ahead and hit enter as a reply to your image mejani bot will generate several of its prompt that can be used to generate images similar to that one scrolling down you can generate any of the images based on the prompt number given or you can imagine them all let's go ahead and imagine all here we can see all the images generated by all four prompts those are similar to the one we had given now let's go ahead and talk about settings in the mid journey to check those type setting here we can select the model that we want for our mid journey and so many other like stylus stylus low medium or high controls the amount of mid journey's creative influence on our pictures next is public mode public mode allows your picture to be seen in mid journey's public collection then comes the remix mode remix mode allows you to give extra prompt during variation in image if you have turned it off it won't ask you for prompt again just vary your current image based on its prompt then there is variation mode when we choose variation it will go ahead and check our preferences either it is low or high based on that it will give us a varied image then we have different modes relax mode fast mode and turbo mode all these three modes define the speed at which mejani will generate your images for relax mode it will generate very slow but for fast mode it will use your fast as but will generate faster and for turbo mode your results would be instant but consume more fast as you can click on reset setting and set your setting to default at last raw mode raw mode acts as a more literal interpretation of your prompt now let's go ahead and design some logos i have chosen logo for a bakery here the mid journey has given us some amazing logos we can select any one of those and use it as own now let's go ahead and explore different parameters that mid journey allows for starters we would use a new prompt to add a parameter we just need to add double slash followed by the parameter for the first parameter we would select aspect ratio now aspect ratio is the ratio between height and width of a image Let's go ahead and type in 16 by 9 and hit enter. Now as we can see the aspect ratio of the image has changed from the previous ones. Those images were in square and this is a wide screen image. Now let's go ahead and discuss a different prompt that is negative prompt. For that we'll go ahead and type the same prompt. You can add multiple parameter in a single prompt. For negative prompting you use n o no and followed by the object you want to remove we want to remove clouds we'll type in clouds and hit enter the clouds have been removed from a original image here cloud cloud and cloud even here but in a newly generated images there are no clouds because it has taken a unique approach of making our dolphin underwater So let's go ahead and check out the parameter that controls imagination of a mid journey that is stylus now we'll go ahead and type in same prompt for stylus the range is from 1 to 1000 and to use stylus we would type single s followed by the value we want to 0 being the lowest and 1000 being the highest we would go and type in 1000 and see the result this is a fine result and it is stunning i am amazed moving to another parameter chaos higher value of this parameter lead to unexpected and unique outcomes so let's go ahead and try it
with the KOS value 1, we get results something like this. Now, let's move to using reference images to create our own images. For that, we need to go ahead and upload one of our photos. So, let's go upload a file. I'm going to use this picture. We'll go ahead and open a browser. Copy its link. For our next one, we would go ahead and type imagine. Paste the copied link. Then type the prompt we want to. Near a lake with rocky mountain and cloudy sky. Here are our generated images. Now let's go ahead and see another parameter, image weight. It controls the weight of referenced image on a newly generated image. Values ranging from 0 to 2, 0 being the lowest and 2 being the highest. Image weight parameter is given by IW and value I have given as 0. Let's hit enter. With the image weight being 0, the reference has not been taken into consideration. Now let's try it with value 2. Our reference image is the first priority and the prompt is second. With that, let's see how to create stock images. To create stock images, we need to use words like realistic and describe as much as we can in that image. Photography of adult Caucasian female wearing a white shirt and black tie, smiling, cross-handed. Studio shot, cinematic look, clean background and white background. Adding all these, now we'll just hit enter. You can see there are multiple keywords that represent stock image. So here are generated images. Let's go ahead and upscale first one. It's a stock image. It's a real looking. Let's create a second stock image in a group. Photo of a diverse team. Remember the keyword photo. Photo of a diverse team celebrating a successful project in a co-working space. Let's hit enter. We'll go ahead and upscale the fourth image. It's a stock image, definitely one. With that, we'll conclude our video and now I'll show you in my journey how you can use. When you enter Midjourney website, you can see collection of photos like this that has been generated by multiple Midjourney users. So, you can find all your generated images in archive. You can see all of these images right over here. You can join the rooms, those are based on themes. Or read the images as you like. Midjourney has recently introduced Midjourney's web creation alpha that allows you to create images on the web. This is currently available only for the users, those have created more than 100 images already. You can type your prompt directly here without giving any command like slash imagine or anything. Let's just go ahead and type shark in mechanical suit. Now, our image is being generated in create, we'll go ahead and check it out. These are the images of shark in mechanical suit. You can even vary both of these subtle or strong or you can use rerun button to reroll the images. You can even see the prompt that you have given for previously generated images by you. And with this, we'll conclude our video. Thanks for watching and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!